Welcome my fellow dwarves, welcome to the fourth and what will be a long line of tutorial videos provided to you by Corporate. In this video training series dubbed Deep Rock Basics, I, your corporate trainer, will be going over all the things you need to know as a new employee of our great intergalactic family owned company. These basics can include anything on how to use your gear to how to complete certain corporate objectives while on site in Hoxie's 4. Because who better to tell you how to do your job than the guy who sits back on the space rig? Exactly, don't think about it too much green beards, just settle in as we discuss the fourth task you can undertake a salvage mission. As we are all aware, not every dwarf makes it back from Hoxies. Sometimes an entire team can fail a mission but can still be recovered by Bosco. However, there are even worse times when the team goes down and it's impossible to retrieve them. This is where salvage missions come in. For this fourth mission type, Corporate is sending you down below the surface to retrieve the mini mules and drop pod of your fallen comrades. Sometimes drop pods have mechanical failures which result in us losing track of its location once a dive team goes down. This means the pod can't be retrieved as it normally would be. On top of this, the minerals that the previous team had been collecting in their mini mules is presumed lost. This is where you come in. You're being sent down to the planet to retrieve these lost mini mules and to get the drop pod operational again so that we can call it back into orbit. The mules will need to be retrieved first. We have to make sure sending the second dive team is worth the effort after all. You'll find the mini mules in various states of disarray with most of their legs missing and spread across the cave system, likely being attacked by local wildlife once they had finished on the previous team. You'll need to locate these legs, reattach them, and restart the mini mules. Once you have fixed all the mini mules, your mining utility lift engine can be sent to lead the mini mules back to the drop pod. Once safely aboard, you'll need to repair the satellite uplink and get the pod refueled before you can board and return to the space rig. Much like an on-site refining mission, a salvage mission is essentially broken down into two parts, retrieving the mini-mules and then repairing the drop pod. First we'll look at the mini-mules. These are just as the name describes. They are stouter mining utility lift engines. These were most likely utilized to provide each dwarf on a dive team with a personal mineral depository. While they were disabled by the locals after a failure of the last team, an emergency beacon was activated on each mini-mule to assist the salvage team in finding them. They emit a steady beeping and green pulsing glow with each beep. Keep an ear and an eye out to more easily locate these machines. You'll notice that most of the legs are missing from these little robots and are scattered nearby. You simply need to retrieve these legs using your pickaxe, explosives, or Bosco, and carry them back to the mini mule. There you can reattach three of them and repair the machine to full working order. You'll need to repeat this process once or twice more depending on the size of the previous team. You can see how many you need to retrieve on the mission selection screen by looking at the length and complexity of the cave. Once all the mini-mules have been retrieved, you can start the next part of the mission. The mining utility lift engine you were deployed with can have its recall function activated once all mini-mules are retrieved. This will cause the mining utility lift engine to lead its smaller counterparts back to the drop pod to be stored for extraction. Once safely aboard, Mission Control will instruct you to re-establish the satellite uplink for the drop pod. You'll find a large green and grey box near the drop pod that you'll need to interact with to establish the uplink. Once fully prepared, and while it's triangulating the drop pod's position, you'll need to stay near the uplink while it works. This area you need to occupy is designated by an LED sphere projected by the uplink. Leaving this area will degrade the uplink quality, and should it completely lose connection, your drop team will also be lost. During the triangulation process, local wildlife will move in to disrupt your salvage operation. You must fend them off. How long the uplink process lasts depends entirely on how well your team can stay within the proximity of the uplink. Once the drop pod's position has been acquired by Mission Control, they will drop in a fresh batch of fuel cells for the pod. If you've worked with the Rock Cracker pods for the Lithophage Meteorite before, then this works exactly the same. You need to run the fuel line from the fuel cells to the intake valve on the drop pod. After connecting the fuel to the drop pod, you'll need to prep the fuel cells and then hold your position while the drop pod is charged, much like with the uplink from earlier. Locals will once again attempt to intervene and prevent this process from concluding. Do not let them. After the drop pod is sufficiently fueled, the pod itself will need to self-calibrate for takeoff. This is an automated process that takes one and a half minutes to complete. During this time, the pod will make a great deal of noise which will call in all the locals from the surrounding area to descend upon you. Simply survive until the pod is finished calibrating and then climb aboard for extraction. Take care not to venture too far off during calibration, as once completed, the pod will return to orbit in one minute. Whether or not you are also on that pod is up to you, dwarf. Follow these simple steps and you won't end up like the previous dive team. And now some tips for our intrepid salvage workers. The locals won't take too kindly to you working to undo their previous work of destroying the mini mules. As such, when you first come upon a broken mini mule, expect a large wave of hostile wildlife to descend on you very quickly. Should your salvage team find themselves short on nitra, each mini mule, when repaired, will deposit its contents into your regular mining utility lift engine. 
Each mini mule will give your team between 40 and 60 gold and nitra, an easy way to quickly afford a supply drop. If you're having trouble finding the scattered legs of a mini mule, you can utilize your terrain scanner on a broken unit and will upload the coordinates of each broken leg to your terrain scanner. They should appear as purple icons nearby, allowing you to more easily hunt them down. Is that a resupply pod you see? Well, why, yes it is. Salvage missions tend to have old resupply pods called down by the last dive team. While these are buried in the rock a little, should you dig a space around it and repair it, these resupply pods should provide you with one to two resupplies, a handy boost when you need it the most. Mission control is not the best with precise fuel cell placement. As such, should the fuel cells land in a disadvantageous position, use your team to alter the terrain to get it to a better spot. A driller is best suited for this task. Work smarter, not harder, dwarves. And so there you have it, green beards. That's all you need to know about salvage missions when working for Deep Rock Galactic. Simply enter a cavern via drop pod, locate and repair lost mini mules, return them to the broken down drop pod, triangulate the pod's position, refuel it, and get out of there. We hope you can make it out of there with the pod, unlike the last team we sent. But if you don't, then at least you'll have done your corporate duty. Out of the eight missions offered by Deep Rock Galactic, how do you feel about salvage missions? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. We here at Corporate sincerely hope you make it back from your latest expedition to Hoxies 4. If you do, be sure you'll subscribe to keep an eye out for the next Corporate training module on Deep Rock Basics. And be sure to like this video so the Corporate knows you want more training videos just like this one. Until then, fellow dwarves, leave no dwarf behind and remember to rock and stone.